Welcome to, to today's session. So I'll be going through how to attempt uh, templates. OK, so my screen is not visible. I forgot to share. Let me share. So yeah, hopefully you can see my screen now. So yeah, it's recording. OK, so you can attempt bonus uh, templates for the bonus the templates uh, on the bonus section. Or you can do exception handling. That's up to you. So with templates, you have to be very careful. So templates, bonus, um, example, right? So I'm going to make an example of the bonus section. So let me open my manager and then my CPP file. And then, yeah, let's start. So I'm going to create a simple UJ image class, right? Simple UJ image. So header file uj image dot h and then add and then remove the underscore included and then finish and then create the uj image class. So uj image, right? And remember it's going to be templated. So I'm going to create an empty file and save it as uj image dot imp. Imp for implementation. So uj image dot imp, imp standing for implementation, and then select all, and then okay, and then remember with templates it's vice versa. A template is not recognized as a C file, so you need to add it into a file that's recognized as a C file, which is the uj image dot h. So you're gonna include it after you've defined the class. Order matters. So uj image dot imp. And then include implementation implementation file here. And then we have our implementation file. And then I select sections which are public, should be public and private. So I'll make it simple. So I'm going to have a parameterized constructor and a parameterless constructor. So unsigned short, unsigned short and then copy constructor mm, you you don't really need the copy constructor but let me just create it for yeah yeah it's, it's important to demonstrate the example that i'm making right now and then distractor mm, distract uh, then private member variables so unsigned short underscore rows underscore calls and then we usually have our uj pixel right so struct uj pixel right and then it's going to have unsigned short red color component and then unsigned short green color component and then unsigned short blue color component right so i'm gonna cut this and put it in its own in its own header file because remember this is templated right so we shouldn't actually create a 2d array of uj pixel we should create a 2d array of some type meaning that it, it can it can accommodate any type this array then click all and then finish and then there's the EJ pixel header file. There's the record structure. I'm not going to put alignment padding and all this complicated stuff. So remember, it's usually UJ pixel pointer pointer underscore pixels, right? It's usually like this. But then in our case, we want it to be any type. It can be an int, can be a char, it can be any type. So I'm going to say T. And then I'm going to come here and say template type name T. Right. Since now UG image is templated, it means that whenever the UG image is passed as a as a parameter or used or called or used as composition, you, you need to make type T like this because UG image is now templated. Think back to vectors. Remember vectors are templated, meaning that you can pass in any type there. Remember how you use vectors, you have to declare them like that. So now even UG image works the exact same way. 
And then I'm just going to create two constants. So const unsigned short um, default rows is equals to 800. And then I'm gonna copy and then just do default calls. Then done. And then I'm gonna create a method, right? Last but not least, I wanna remember I wanna demonstrate how it's going to affect your base class or child classes, whatever. So I'm gonna create a function. I'm gonna call it uh, standard string and then uh, to image. I'm gonna call it to image, right? And then I'm gonna append a const at the end to say that the code that will be written within this function should not be changing the function or should not be changing my UJ image. So it shouldn't mutate my UJ image. So I'm making use of the string type, right? So I need to include it. And then that's pretty much all we have to do. You see now UJ image, the array can take in any type. We said type T pointer pointer, meaning that it can take in any type. And then I'm gonna copy all of this. So we're gonna have like different types of images, right? So I'll create, to, to just for the sake of making an example, I'll create a header file. For now, a header file, right? Call it PGM image dot h, right? And then add it to my folder and then remove the underscore included and then select all and then click finish. And then I'm gonna create the class PGM image, right? Then I'm gonna leave that and then remember, we need to demonstrate composition, right? So I need to do a forward declaration of PGM image. And remember PGM image, I'm going to decide to make it, to not make it templated. So hence, I'm just gonna include like this. If it was templated, we'll see with DJ image, since it's templated, we'll see with DJ image. So now I need to have an instance of PGM image and let's say it's, let's say it's, it's a composition, so pointer underscore image and then i'm going to copy all of this uh okay for the sake of example make demonstrating right for the sake of making an example so imagine pgm image right it won't be a base class because i don't want i don't want i want to save time i don't want to have to type a lot i want to make this video short so unsigned short get rows uh const and then unsigned short get calls const right and then unsigned um get pixel so get pixel you don't really get a pixel it will return a type t right so get we don't know what to call it so i'm just going to call it get value which takes in uh, a row in the column Unsigned short. There we go, right? And then, uh, yeah, so just leave it like this. Simple, right? We're going to leave it like this. Simple. So I'm going to copy all of this. And you realize something tricky about templates. Something very, very tricky that you need to fully understand. So remember, we said UG image is templated. So every time you use use your image, let's say you say use your image, you need to say it's of type T. It's of some type since it's templated. Then copy, then scroll down, do this. And then since I wanted to fit on my screen, I must do that. And then do this. Um, templates are not too bad. You just need to understand what you're doing. Some people prefer, some people prefer exception handling as it looks easier than this, but I feel like it's somewhat the same level of difficult because sometimes you can, what if you do exception handling and it doesn't actually do any exception handling? I, I, I chose the templates, I, I prefer templates. Right, and then we have this and then you'd be like oh i'm cruising nicely right why you why, why am i saying you're gonna say you're cruising nicely because you're gonna build right like this and then look at your code it'll be like 
success. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm killing it. Remember, these are templates. You have to actually use it within main in order for you to actually get errors if you had errors. So let me show you how, let me actually make an error on page. Show you that it doesn't actually do make any difference. You see, let me do this, right? You see, that's, an, that's a clear error. But then if I build, it says successful. Be very careful with templates. So that's that's something about, the one thing about templates I do not like. Unless you actually include the header file here, you see inside main, when you include inside main, that's when it's going to start showing errors. You see, now it starts showing me my errors. So hence, I'm going to do that. Um, not unsigned T, just T. I sh my bad, sorry about that. It's not unsigned T. And then you see, now it starts showing you errors. So if you want to see errors, you have to include the header file inside main. So that it, it runs it and then you show the error, it shows the error. You see now it doesn't say T, T is, it was not declared. So, which is fine, we, we fix that by saying it T, because that's, remember T is not a data type. So you need to tell it that no, listen C++, T is some type that's made up, that will be accepted by this class, which is any type. So that means on top of every function that that's part of UJ image, or well, anything that you're implementing that's part of UJ image, you need to say template type name T. Because it's going to ask you, Chief, where are you getting that T from? Because T is not a type, where are you getting it from? So you need to tell it that, listen, this is some type. And then I do this, and then we build. Um, okay, my bad, the unsigned needs to go. Yeah, you see, now it's fine. But if I if I had, if I hadn't included my, included my header file inside main uh, main dot cpp, you wouldn't have told me the errors. Be very careful. So now since I, I I was told the errors, now I can code. So let me chain this to my other UJ image. So let me pass in default um, default. And remember, dot imp is not a C plus plus file, so it's not going to auto complete for you. You need to remember the spelling and capitalization and everything. And then this will be rows, this will be calls. Obviously, you'll have your helper methods, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to do that. Then I'm going to set my underscore rows to be equals to rows. Then set my underscore calls to be equals to calls. And then my underscore pixels is equals to new. Remember, it's now type T, so T pointer pointer. And then set it to underscore rows. And then go through all of the rows unsigned. Short R is equals to zero. R is less than underscore rows R plus plus. And then for all of the rows, initialize them to size of columns. So new some type T. Remember, we've already allocated for that outermost pointer, so we replace we delete that. Then now we replace this pointer with the square pair of square brackets. And then we're done allocating. And remember, we need to do life cycle. Life cycle management. So life cycle management. So I think it's underscore image. Yeah. Underscore image is equals to new PGM image. And remember, when you say new PGM, when you do life cycle management, it calls the default or the parameterless constructor. You need to have that parameterless constructor created, or else it's going to crash. It's going to say undefined reference. And then this is my copy constructor. So OBJ image. Right, and then for the sake of saving time, I'm going to copy this loop. I don't want to have to type it. And then inside here, paste that loop. And then change this to underscore calls. And then change this to a C. Plus plus, and then C. And then C. And then change this to RC since I'm accessing the actual pixel. And then I'm setting it to copying from that other object. Remember, this is a copy constructor underscore pixels RC. And then we are done. Then here, these are the basics, right? So return underscore rows and then return underscore columns, return underscore columns. And then this is um, a row and a column. 
Remember, you're going to enforce range, blah, 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 do all of that. Then we're going to do all of that. So return underscore pixels at a specific row and at that specific column. And then now we need to delegate. So underscore image delegate call the to image function, which expects me to pass the UJ object. But remember, this to image function returns a string, so I need to return the value that this method returns since this one expects me to return a string. And then I'm going to deallocate, right? So unsigned short r is equals to zero r is less than underscore rows r plus plus. And then we delete the columns dim dimension for every single row. And then we delete the rows dimension. And then we set the pixels to now set it to now pointer and then we are done with user image then now the trick comes to pgm image how do we implement pgm image remember what i talked about when you stand when you instantiate these objects it assumes that there's a parameterless construct so i need to create a parameterless construct and then i need to create a destructor so pgm image and then uh, I won't have any private member variables, but I will have that string function, uh, string to image. And then this is the tricky part, right? So you're passing in a const uj image by reference, right? So it needs to know what uj image is, right? But remember uj image is templated. So you need to pass a t here. But then if you pass t, the problem is that if, if we pass T here, this makes PGM image templated, which becomes wrong. So this they want you to only make UJ image temp templated. So here you pass UJ pixel, of which UJ pixel is inside its own header file. So include UJ pixel dot H, right? But then it needs to know what UJ image is. So you need to do forward declaration for UJ image. And then I need, to, I need to go to create my CPP file because remember PGM image is not templated. It's only UG image that should be templated. So there's two ways you can go about it. You can also make the child classes or base class templated if you want to. But in this case, they are forcing us to not do that. So UG image, uh, PGM image, and then I have all these methods. In this case, PGM image won't really do anything, but I'll put the, the image. In this, in this case, remember PG, PG image is a P2 image. I could have called this class P2 image, but the proper name is PGM image. That's what it's called. So the, hence I called it that. you'll see that we're going to have errors, especially within the PGM image. It will say that um, UJ templated, blah, blah, you get some error like that. Yeah, it will say because you're you are using it as a template here. Remember, I did a forward declaration, but you're using it as a template here, and the forward declaration is not a template. So what do you mean? That's what UJ is, that's what C++ is asking is like, what do you mean by that? Because UJ image, when you did forward declaration, it was not templated. Okay, that's one of the errors. Um, okay, let's do that. So hash include uh, string so that uh, so that we can see that error that I'm talking about. Yeah, so UJ image is not a template. So it thinks it's not a template class. So you need to say template type name T at the top here to solve that error. And don't put it, don't leave class image as it is like that. And then build and then everything is correct. So what I need to do, right, that error, you need to make sure you come here and you, before we go there, let's come here and include UJ images header file because we're gonna call methods from UJ image. Then now we have an issue here. It doesn't know this PGM image. It's incomplete, right? Because why? We have only for the de default declaration there. So I need to include its header file here so that it knows where to find the construct, the parameterless constructor. 
since when you instantiate those objects, they make use of the parameterless construct. So therefore, you need to include the header file so that it knows where to find it. And then done. All errors are gone. Now we're left with the P, PM. Oh yeah, we are not done with everything. Remember, I allocated memory for, I did lifecycle management for image. I need to delete it too. So let me do that. So life cycle uh, management. So delete underscore image. And I'm using that syntax because there's one image. And then done. So inside PGM image, it's, it's warning us because this string function, the, this function is supposed to return a string and I'm not returning anything. But I'm going to use the string stream, so I need to include the string stream here. And then I'm going to come here and then I'm going to say um, string standard namespace string stream SS, right? And then I'm going to insert every pixel from UJ image, right? But I need to initialize every pixel to some color, right? Since remember UJ image, it doesn't know that T is a pixel, so you can't initialize it. You have to initialize it in all the other, in all the other classes that use UJ image. So since I'm initializing it, I need to change it to remove this const, right? Since I'm, I'm changing UJ image. So I'm going to remove that const today. Hopefully this allows me to change it. I remove that const there. Then I can now change UJ image. So I want to set the pixel, right? So you want to set the pixel, right? So that means I want to get the pixel first, then set it. So in my case, you see, you see the get value function, it returns the pixel by value, meaning that I can change it. I will return it by address. I won't create a set pixel because it's tricky because how will you set the pixel? That's the thing. It's tricky. So let me do it this way, this advanced way. So return by address so that when I return, I can use the equal sign when I get the, the pixel. So I'm going to say, um, da, 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 da. yeah, so I'm going to go through all of my pixels, right? So let's say we initialize them to, to, to let's make it a red image, right? So underscore rows, right? So obj image dot get rows. And then R plus plus. This is just for demonstration purposes, right? It's not like it's how it's going to come out. And then R C is less than obj image dot get calls. Because I just wanted to display something. And then C plus plus. And then there we go, right? Then I can set every single pixel, right? OBJ image dot get pixel, or I've called it get value. At that specific row and column dot red, because I said it's of type pixel. So I'm going to say dot red and set it to 255 because I want it to be a red image, right? And then the rest should be zero. Dot green should be equals to zero. And then dot blue should be equals to zero. So because I just want the red image. Then now I can output the pixel. So insert into my string stream the pixels. So red, I insert the red color component for the space. But then something is missing. I didn't specify what type of image it is. We'll specify that at the top. And then this is green. Remember RGB needs to be in that order. Red, green, blue. Uh, green, blue. And then I need to insert an end of line character. Right. And then I need to insert at the top to see what type of image it is. Remember, mm, Okay, since I'm setting red, green, and blue, and it's a PGM image, that means it's going to be white. Yeah, so it's a P2 image, so P2, which is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It will be white, doesn't matter. I think so. I, I don't know. We'll see. 
and then I need to output the columns so obj rows dot get calls and then I output a space and then I output the, the rows obj image dot get rows and then I output an end of line character and then I output the maximum intensity which is 255 and then I output an end of line character and then I'm done and then it expects me to return a string so I return the string stream and I call the str function which converts that string all everything inside the string stream into one string let's see if we have any errors okay done and then now okay I didn't over overload the streaming session operator blah, blah, blah all those things so now when I create UJ image here of type UJ pixel call it obj um, one obj image right but then it needs to know about uj pixel so hash include uj pixel dot h and then this will use a, the default constructor meaning that it's an image of 800 by 800 then let's see out so see out obj image dot to image right and then let's see if it builds Undefined reference to, 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 to um, once to disqualifies. Is it because oh I think it's this const. Um yeah, I remember the two p the two, two the two image function is actually changing the pixel. So let me fix that. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah. Remember, I changed the image. Remember that const at the end. It means that within our implementation, there's no equal sign. But then wait, I do have an equal sign. So it means that you are going against what you agreed upon. So I also need to delete the const here and then delete the const here. And then I need to build and run. Come on, let's get some output. Yeah, it runs 100% correctly. So now I can just output the image. Um, okay, let me come here. Code blocks. Uh, what did I call this one again? Templates bonus example. So it's this over here. And then I'm going to copy and then I'm going to open my terminal. OK, it became longer than expected. The thing is, there's quite a lot involved. So I wanted to show you all the possible things so that you know how to change it to a template to become templated. So it seems the P2 image should be white or some some weird color or gray. And then LS and then now I can compile everything so g plus plus everything that ends in a dot cpp and then name the object file to, to be main and means combine these instructions and also execute it's executable and chain and generate an image so i'm doing a lot of and it's pgm not ppm doing a lot of things in one line two things in one line i'm compiling it and executing it or running it to generate the image so there's the image here it should be like a gray just a plain plain image and then that's pretty much how you do templates it's taking his time i don't know how long the video is but yeah some things need more time yeah it's a bit gray so yeah, that's how you do templates. So good luck.